What does star formation look like in extreme environments? Webb took a peek at Sagittarius C, a star-forming region located in the heart of our galaxy near the supermassive black hole at its core. Stars typically form in clouds of dust and gas, which there are plenty of, near the galaxy's center. So why aren't we seeing many stars born there? Webb's data is showing that the strong magnetic fields that surround our central black hole may be playing a role in suppressing star formation. This image spans 1,000 light years, while the Webb image covers only 44 light years. At the center of the image, the region surrounding the Milky Way's supermassive black hole blazes bright. Huge vertical filamentary structures echo those captured on a smaller scale by Webb in Sagittarius C's blue-green hydrogen cloud. Like a super-long exposure photograph, Meerkat radio data shows the bubble-like remnants of supernovas that exploded over a millennia ago, capturing the dynamic nature of the Milky Way's chaotic core. The Meerkat image is colored in blue, cyan, and yellow, with a very bright white-yellow center that indicates the location of the Milky Way's supermassive black hole. Painterly bubbles of various sizes, clouds, and vertical brushstroke-like streaks make up the radio image. The web inset shows stars and gas clouds in red, with an arching cloud of bright cyan that contains many straight, needle-like features that appear more crystalline than cloudy. There's still so much we don't understand about the heart of our galaxy, and we're just getting started. If you're into unraveling cosmic mysteries, consider subscribing.